Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in a system. That is shown on the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution curve, because when we say that a system has a certain temperature, say T1, what this curve tells us is that the particles' energy are distributed across the entire spectrum, meaning that particles range in energy from zero to a theoretically infinite value, in much the same way as when the average for a class test is 60%. That does not mean that every single person in the class got 60%. It means that the marks ranged from zero to the maximum for that test, with the average being 60. So what this curve shows us is that a particle can have a very, very small value of energy, but it can also theoretically have a very, very large value for its kinetic energy, but the average energy is centered around T1. Now, the reason why this is important is because in rates of reaction, we say that there's a certain activation energy that is required in order for a reaction to take place. Now, the way we would read this graph is by looking at it and seeing that only the particles that have more energy than that required activation energy are able to take part in that reaction, which in this case is a very small fraction. Now, there are two ways in which we can increase the number of particles that have that required activation energy. The first way is to increase the average temperature. We do that by heating the system, which would mean that we would create a new curve that is centered around a higher value. What you should see here is that the average temperature, T2, is now greater than T1. And you should also see that the maximum number of particles has decreased slightly because the curve has been shifted to the right. What this does mean now is that since the activation energy required for this reaction has not changed, it means that there is a far larger fraction of molecules that is now able to take part in this reaction. The second way in which we can increase the number of particles that can take part is by using a catalyst. We know that a catalyst lowers the required activation energy. It does that by providing a different path and what that then does is it opens up the path for more molecules to take part in that reaction.